Brandon Quick, Paul Bunyan, I mean, Cam Buchanan. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> okay. Anyways, we're doing the, uh, what are we doing? Wall stroke. The wall stroke. Okay. AKA Jamie Walsh, Professor Walsh, the one who gave me my black belt. John Jock Machado, black belt, uh, Jamie Walsh is. You'll see Team Alpha Male doing this a lot in the UFC. A lot of the MMA guys, of course, train this right now, but. Um, Anyways, check it out. So we're playing off that fun headlock game, right? I'm here and I get his arm passed across. Whether I have a gable grip or I just have the arm passed across, I cause pressure. I want him, if he's on his knees in, in laces, I want to cause pressure into his laces. Don't sit, don't sit on your bottom yet, but you're going to sit on your bottom, but you're not going to tilt that. So I'm causing pressure into his laces like that, you guys see? So what I need to do now is however hard he's fighting, when I say beat the arm, I'm going to need to get my body around this arm. A lot of wrestlers talk about that, right? Beating the arm, coming around, that kind of stuff. Well, I'm beating the arm with my leg. I'm coming inside. I'd like to hook it like this. So I have options to push and flip. I also have hook flip options. Okay, I can switch my feet in several different ways. But I, I like to come in like this. Sometimes I may get closed off and end up like this. That's fine. You'll just still throw the leg over the back. Okay, but you're trying to get that knee in. So I'm here. I cause pressure, I get on my toes, I'm trying to see his, see his butt into his feet. If I want, I can gable grip, pull from here, walk around his arm, slide my body in. Now I'm going to pull my arm like I'm trying to look at my wristwatch. So I'm trying to pull my arm out and look at my wristwatch. This and this, I don't find any difference in grip. If you do, then great, but not, I don't really. So I'm just trying to make sure the one that's going around his neck, I'm pulling that arm out. So I'm looking at my wristwatch. Okay, this changes from this angle, good. So he's here, I'm pressuring him in. I can get that gable grip and pull it across his body, slide my knee in, hook the body, and now I'm pulling my arm through to get the choke. So all the way around that phone. As for I'm trying to show you guys get my arm all the way through, it's hard because Cam's thicker, but the motion is I'm pulling this right arm out with my left arm. So I'm here, causes the choke. So his, it's a guillotine with his arm in. You know, I'm here at like this. Pressure, I'm causing pressure with my shoulder down into him. He can gable grip the arm across. Slap my knee, left leg over the top. Now you can see how his arm and his head are in the guillotine. I pull my left arm out, and I get the choke. These are awesome. There's all kinds of different techniques I can do from the position as well. There's a lot of good techniques that happen from there. Okay, these have other setups like from arm drags and Stuff like that, there's all kinds of different places you can get this. I do this a lot off the hooks. I might have one hook in, and I'll just bail out. Comes over the top. But needless to say, for the first week, we're just going to do it with the fundamentals like that. Starting from the front headlock, so we can all keep our brain on the chin and arm concept from the front headlock. And then we'll start getting into different setups after you guys get the basics done. Thank you.